creating hijackers. Today we are going to install Kali NetHunter with Termux. The Kali Linux NetHunter project is an open source Android penetration testing platform supporting wireless attacks, frame injections, MITM attacks, etc. NetHunter has recently released its new rootless support. In this latest update, we will be able to run Kali as GUI with or without root on Android phones. So without further delay, let's begin. We will be downloading NetHunter Store app from Google. So search NetHunter Store and install the app as shown. NetHunter Store will help us to install some important apps for installing NetHunter. Open NetHunter Store app after installation. Now we will install NetHunter Kex. NetHunter Kex will work as a simulator for Kali. And with this we will be able to run Kali Linux desktop in the palm of our hand. Next requirement is of course the Termux. If you are watching our channel for first time, we have already started hacking series on Termux. Make sure you watch them from start. You can also download hacker's keyboard and configure it as a requirement. In this video, we are using default keyboard. There are other hacking tools available on the store. You can check them later. Now that we are done with basic requirements, let's begin installing NetHunter. Search NetHunter rootless and follow as shown. Here is the full documentation of NetHunter. You can go through it if you want. Now we will run commands to install NetHunter. Copy paste the commands from here or from the description to avoid errors. The bluegate command will help to download files from web. chmod will give permissions to run the file. Now the installation of NetHunter will begin. Make sure 
you have at least 32 gigs or more storage for a successful installation. The installation will take some time depending on your internet speed. Press Y when you get a prompt and watch the video till end for a bonus section. After installation, type NetHunter or NH to verify a successful installation. Now follow the steps to run whole Kali Linux as a GUI. Here is the bonus section. You can use undercover mode in the latest Kali Linux, which will turn the Kali desktop look alike windows. You can use a HDMI or screencast to run Kali on a big screen. Let me know about the errors in the comment section and make sure you follow the Termark series from part 1. Subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of next Termark series. Thanks for watching.